Now is the accepted time. Not tomorrow, not some more convenient season. It is today that our best work can be done and not some future day or future year. It is today that we fit ourselves for the greater usefulness of tomorrow. Today is the seed time. Now are the hours of work and tomorrow comes the harvest and the play time. I sat with this quote for a very long time, thinking, I'm still thinking in fact, but really dissecting what he said and meant and even the impact it should evoke. Then I started thinking about the current status of our society, holistically, not just as a child of Africa, but as a human being in this world. What have I contributed? Am I actively embracing and living through this philosophy? And what about the company I keep, whom if only via association are also a reflection upon me? Can they justifiably say they are living up to or through this philosophy? And if the answer is no, have we failed Du Bois and his mission in our time? Let me repeat, he says, it is today that we fit ourselves for the greater usefulness of tomorrow. You see, Du Bois was able to make use of his accepted time, and that's evident as we are here today. But what about the greater usefulness of tomorrow? Are we not the tomorrow? And if so, how useful have we truly been? Because we are still here today fighting for the freedoms of colored women and men. Is it that we've accepted the work that had been done before us as the only work that needed doing? Have we chosen to only harvest the seed that had been sown and not plant another so that a better tomorrow may grow? Have we chosen to only play with someone else's time? Forgetting that a black man's nickel was so hard to come by, and you can only imagine how hard it was to receive a dime. Du Bois says, it is today that our best work can be done. But how do we ingrain that ethic in the minds of the youth that feel as if by social media and mainstream life that they've already won? I stand before you today, in this time, in our time, not knowing if I'll even have the chance to see tomorrow, realizing that the time I waste is not mine at all, because it's from great leaders like Du Bois that it has been borrowed. Had he not made use, you and I, <laughs> well, our freedom would still be hanging from the noose. So let's band together as a people of one, repay our debt to this man, and embrace that our time has indeed come.